protein. Yeah, and I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us. Beginning next month, the Department of Corrections will see fewer inmates, but county jails will see an increase in the people that they house. News 18's Holly Campbell joins us live with more on the changes and how they impact Tippecanoe County. Holly. Jeff, Gina, the criminal code overhaul goes into effect July 1st, putting pressure on local governments as they prepare to house more inmates. Starting July 1st, fewer people will be sent to prison. The changes come from the new criminal code. Anyone sentenced with a Class D felony, typically theft or battery, will not be sent to the DOC. Instead, they'll go back to the county jail. Tippecanoe County Sheriff Tracy Brown says the jail can hold about 550 people. There are currently 365 people in jail. It gives us a little bit of a buffer. It gives us the ability to be able to classify inmates by crime, um, incar the, the number of days incarcerated, things of that nature. Um, it gets to be increasingly more difficult the, uh, the higher your census gets to be. More inmates means more money the jail has to spend. And there's an expense that goes along with that. We know that uh, that expense is somewhere between 36 and 37 dollars a day per inmate. And again, if that census goes up and those inmates are sentenced to the Tippecanoe County Jail, our costs go up as well. Brown says the jail has a contract with the DOC to keep inmates it doesn't have room to house. Our highest year was around $1.5 million in revenue, and we were consistently around a million dollars year in and year out. As they have more bed space available, then that loss of that loss of revenue is going to be realized. Another concern Brown says he has is the impact the changes will have on an already full community corrections. So if they don't have the capacity to add additional services and be able to be able to provide those those services to uh, that increasing clientele, if you will, then those folks end up backed up into the county jail system. One of the biggest problems is, and we've told the uh, DOC this, is that our program right now is as big as it's going to get with the funding that we have. Every county in this state will get a portion of $11 million to help cover the costs. Executive Director Dave Heath says at most, they could take 60 more work release inmates with current funding. A few years ago, eight people were laid off from community corrections, but Heath says they don't have the money to get those employees back. To take um, work release to the full capacity, which is 168, it would probably need, uh, we'd probably have to hire those eight people back again. And that's uh, probably 400,000. Brown says he does not expect to see changes in the number of inmates right away, but in time, he says it could be a substantial change. Reporting live from the jail, Holly Campbell, News 18.